Oh man, you're not gonna believe the news today. Oh, we almost have a Reggie Pizza Man! OB1 plays? Yes, right, what's up? All right. OB1 plays? going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some huge playstation 5 news today but first before we get started give the video a thumbs up boy give it a like a like a like bro according to this is coming from um, altcar.com. According to a renowned leaker, dude has a reliable track record. I talked about this yesterday, but now the information is coming out about this game, and it's insane. Square Enix and Team Ninja are collaborating on a Final Fantasy spin-off Souls-like game and it's going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive like Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. Bro! And so now we're getting information on this other exclusive game. And it's going to be in the vein of the Demon Souls Souls-like games. Bro! Demon Souls was my favorite PlayStation 5 <coughs> launch title. Love the game from beginning to end. And we're going to get this in the world of Final Fantasy. Sony is killing it. Square Enix and Sony have a buddy buddy relationship. But um, dudes on Twitter were reminding me. I tweeted this out on Twitter. Man, Sony and PlayStation, they're getting real close. But the dudes reminded me, and I know this, bro. I know my video game history. They've always been close <laughs> ever since the PlayStation 1. Where this game, this game was the Nintendo domination killer. What do I mean? After this point, when Final Fantasy 7 came out on PlayStation and not the Nintendo 64, Nintendo lost control of getting the big, latest and greatest, big AAA uh, third-party games. Third-party games, they left Nintendo and went over to the Sony ship. This was a big game in video game history. So really, you can almost say Square <laughs> sort of um, killed Nintendo. This is the reason why <laughs> Nintendo's not only doing handhelds and not home consoles. But... Um... Final Fantasy 7 Remake. What is that? A PlayStation 5 exclusive. Final Fantasy 7 Remake Intergrade. The DLC that's coming in June. Definitely. Oh man, this is June 10th, right before Ratchet and Clank. Ah, so many games to play, bro. Um, this is going to be PlayStation 5 exclusive. Um, the first game that I was showing right here, Final Fantasy 16, PlayStation 5 exclusive. Exclusives make the world go round. And Sony has the best exclusives combined, first and third party. Nintendo has first party exclusives, but they can't match what Sony's delivering on their third party front. And so Final Fantasy a Souls-like spin-off game is what the leak game will be for the PlayStation 5 exclusive to the PlayStation 5. All right? And so, it's going to be Final Fantasy with a Dark Souls Neo Jedi Order style of combat play. That just sounds crazy, bro. It's gonna be crazy. So can't wait to see 
what the game is going to be like. It should be revealed at E3. At E3 is when we should see this game. But, bro, there's one more dope, dope, dope news item. Speaking of Nintendo losing the dominance in gaming. <laughs> hey, hey. I know Nintendo dudes watching this video. Only one. But when I think of this game, there's a news item. The trophy list for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart has been revealed, which will be a total of 47 trophies, 32 trophies, 15 hidden trophies, which makes it a total of 47. Can't wait to get my hands on this game. I tell you. When I see this game, I think of, man, Nintendo must be punching the air every time they see this game. <laughs> this looks like a, just, a, just like a game that Nintendo would be making if they like really pushed hardware and technology. The game looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. Comes out June 11th. Day one by going to... I'm probably going to get the deluxe. I, I need to pre-order this game. I haven't even pre-ordered the game yet. I'm going to pre-order the deluxe edition. I ain't in a rush. I'm going to get it. Um, and I'm going to be trying to platinum this game. I've been, um, platinuming the um, PlayStation exclusives, man, on the PS5. I just started platinuming games. Astrobot, that was easy. We platinum Miles Morales. The game that I'm working on now, this is probably going to be the hardest platinum, probably on the entire library of the PS5, even in the future of the PS5. Returnal. Speaking of <laughs> Nintendo and Metroid, oh my goodness, Sony just taking it when it comes to games, bro. How do Sony fans have a better Metroid game than Nintendo? What's the best Metroid type game on the Switch right now? <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Returnal, Returnal, man, I am loving this game. I'm doing a platinum run on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. Go and check me out. That's where I do most of my gaming on so returnal i'm trying to platinum platinum this game ratchet and clank when that comes out you better believe i'm going to try to platinum uh ratchet and clank as well i'm just enjoying gaming this generation man and sony's just been delivering man they've been giving me everything that i wanted everything that i hoped and wanted nintendo to do xbox to do i don't have to hope and want sony's delivering it for me all right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bruh, we out.